Okay, go ahead. Hi, we're Piper and Paul, and we're here at the Figure Skater Boot Camp. And today we're doing some workouts for the Figure Skater Fitness Magazine. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, tell us a bit about your previous, you were a free skater first, mm -hmm. and then you went into ice dancing. Now, how has, has any of your off-ice training changed after you went into ice dancing from when you were competing in free skate? Actually, not a lot of my office has changed. I probably do a little bit less of plyometrics. I still do some because it's really good work for explosive power, which is still something we need in terms of stroking and just skating fast. Mm -hmm. But I think the plyo is more focused just on the power, not necessarily on um, big high jumps and on um, rotation and things like that that you'd have to do as a free skater. But otherwise, a lot of the workout is the same. Nice. And Piper, I know for ice dancing, you have to be flexible and keep stretched yeah. out. So what do you do for training in that sense? Um, I know when I was younger, we did a lot of like challenges. Like our uh, stretching coach would be like, okay, at the end of the month, I want to see who can get a full middle split or who can get all of your splits or sitting in the frog. So I used to like after school and like I'd finish all my homework and I would go home and I would just stretch and I'd put my, boot, my books on my feet to stretch them to make them go down. So just having those little challenges or keep it fun and um, more entertaining when you're trying to stretch or just watch while you're stretch while you're watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> I and do that too. You yeah. seem to both have an amazing personality together and you know no. keep things going. So how do you you know you train all day and all night long together? How do you keep things fun and motivating? Um <laughs> Well, we're known for quoting YouTube. So. Yeah, we quote a lot of YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, we spend so much time with each other that we just like we know each other's humor so well and I don't know, we'll just see things and be like, oh my god, like Paul would like this, or he'll be like, oh my god, this is something fun, but so, like, I have to show her. So, like, you learn about each other that mm -hmm. way, so I think that's how we keep it. Yeah, and we find we can just actually, we get more work done when we're enjoying ourselves. Yeah. I think if you're just kind of just feeling really burdened all the time, it makes it hard to work and to motivate mm -hmm. yourself. So, we really like to keep things light as much as possible, not to say that we don't like to work hard, yeah. but mm -hmm. I yeah. think in between things, just when you're taking little breaks and things like that, I think it's good to just... Um, you know, not always relax. be yeah, relax and thinking about so... the skating or the training or whatever it is you're doing at the time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being part of Figure Skater yeah. Fitness Magazine. Thank we you. We look forward to having you on our issue.